So John Fetterman um, cannot stop collecting L's. He's been getting getting a new L every day for uh, for months now. L's. What's the L for, Kyle? Kyle, what are the L's for? Are they for L'Oreal, your favorite brand of hair dye? Defeated Dr. Oz, even though he had had a stroke and really couldn't talk well. Barely could put together sentences in the debate. First of all, effing gross. Effing gross. Did you just throw up in your mouth and you're just going to keep going on like that didn't happen? But did enough for people to think, yeah, he's kind of normal and... Uh, Looks like goddamn Jane Lynch. Sky, this man looks like Jane Lynch. A man that looks like Jane Lynch? I I don't believe you. Are you joking me? That's what I would say if somebody said that. I would say there's no way a man could look like Jane Lynch. And then here we are. Kyle Kalinske is going to be talking about how smart he is and how dumb John Fetterman is. So let's hear it. You all know the backstory. He ran as a progressive, defeated Dr. Oz, even though he had had a stroke and really couldn't talk well, barely could put together sentences in the debate, but did enough for people to think, yeah, he's kind of normal and- Wait, what? Stroke and really couldn't talk well, barely could put together sentences in the debate, but did enough for people to think, yeah, he's kind of normal. Did enough or is it just because Democrats always vote party over policy? Uh, Pennsylvania since 2000 has voted- 83% Democratic. So it doesn't fucking matter who's up there. A goddamn retard who can barely talk. Boom, you're in. Uh, Dr. Oz is an elitist prick. So fuck Dr. Oz. We're going to vote for John Fetterman. Well, um, since he got into office, it's been a slow but sure move in the direction of being more and more right wing. Right wing. Why is he right wing? Let's hear why he's so right wing. Let's hear what, what's so right wing about this guy. This, uh, you don't want to cut off uh, boys' penises when they're five years old. You're right wing now. Okay. So immigration is one area where he did it. He used to run ads about like immigrants created this country. We believe in the American dream and just outright staunch defense of immigration and immigrants. Uh, and then now he does his whole Republican tap dance shtick where, oh, but what about border security? And it's not bigoted to say we should have a strong border and doesn't say anything positive about immigrants anymore. And What's he supposed to say, Kyle? What positive things is he supposed to say right now? How NYC is coping with 175,000 migrants from the southern border. Fairly big problem. Squatters invade homes and refuse to leave. How is this legal? Kyle thinks no big whoop. You're a goddamn stupid right-wing bigot if you don't want Mexicans to come in your house and take your house. That's what they're doing. I'm joking, but... Israel, of course, is the worst of all of his positions. To be fair, he was never good on the issue of Israel, but he's gotten way, way worse um, during the genocide and the ethnic cleansing. Just an outright cheerleader of it. But now we have another flip-flop on another issue. Another one. So clearly this guy... look. Let me tell you the sort of people I have zero respect for. Um, let me guess. Is it people who dress in women's powder blue blazers? Is it, Kyle? Because that's who I don't have respect for. Look at this. It's uncanny. It's uncanny. Jesus Christ. It's the same blazer, guys. He wears it well, though, to be fair. Yeah, I hate flip floppers, too. I hate flip floppers who talk differently depending on what mood they're in or like what music they're listening to. All right, y'all, this story is crazy. So as many of you know, uh, I'm a golf fan. And I'm not <laughs> thinking about politics, talking about politics. I'll give him credit because I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk like that about golf. So that is interesting. He talks like uh, the black guy from American Idol judges. You know what I'm talking? You, know you know what I mean? He is the Randy Jackson of uh, YouTube political commentary. Check out what he says, though. Listen to this. All right, y'all. This story is crazy. So as many of you know... Uh <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Anna! Anna! What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we going with this? Jeremiah, where are we going with this? Let's keep going. All right. I have zero respect for people who, who say... Well, I did have this set of beliefs, but then the people who are in that same group were really mean to me, 
and now I'm changing what? my mind on everything. Kyle does these characters. It's like he's like trying these little skits. He's like putting together an audition tape for like Mad TV or something. It's very cool. Guys, I don't know. How, I can't stress this enough. It doesn't fucking matter if all these people who are on the left are mean to me. I'm now I'm no longer a leftist. It doesn't matter if they're mean. It doesn't matter if they're assholes. None of that is relevant. What? So if the entire party, the entire Democratic Party were assholes, that's fine. Doesn't even make any sense. Everything this guy says is stupid. He's such a stupid. You know, I'm a dummy. I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty stupid idiot. Right. Jeremiah, back me up on this one. But I'm still smarter than Kyle and I can prove it. Because I'm self-aware enough to know that I'm stupid. Kyle has no idea. He thinks he's like smart. He's just on the Internet saying stupid shit. That's how stupid he is. That's how stupid Kyle is. He doesn't even know he's stupid. Kyle Kalinske is so stupid. He doesn't even know he's stupid. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it, Jeremiah. Let's keep watching. And were total pricks to me. It wouldn't matter because at the end of the day, I know where I stand on the issues. So what other people are saying or doing has no bearing on the reality of the policy. Don't you think it might have a bearing on if you're a representative of the people? Shouldn't you echo what they're trying to say? You know what I mean? Shouldn't you be a spokesman for the people, Kyle? Fuck everyone else. It's just what you think. Other people are apparently, certainly people like John Fetterman, the fucking mental midget. He, he's too, he's too dumb to realize this. So he thinks, these people were mean to me. Now I'm going to go to the right on everything. So here we go. Go to the right on everything. The guys come out and said about immigration and like, I think he said something about uh, like the trans stuff. And that's enough for you to be called a, a, a Republican, a, a right winger, a maggot. 10 years ago, I was considered a liberal and now I'm a right wing fucking activist extremist. Check out this video. I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, this is just a video. I don't know how the interaction started. It is pretty odd. This is Fetterman's going to record and mock his own constituent here and you'll see the issue. Um, oh, I didn't expect this. No, no, no I didn't. Um, well, I'm from Chester County, um, in Pennsylvania, and uh, I am really concerned about the way that pipelines are being built. This is fucking ridiculous, obviously. You understand that the, the Democrats voted this guy in. You understand that, right? This is your, this is, this is your guys' problem. They don't get it. Now they're going to blame and, oh, you flip-flopped. The guy, how could he flip flop? He couldn't talk before. So like <laughs> the guy couldn't talk before, but he flip flopped when he finally could start talking. Then you could maybe you shouldn't elect somebody who can talk. In our communities mm -hmm. and on mm -hmm. our like in our backyards, threatening our lives, mm -hmm. our water. Uh, and in 2018, you actually joined us for a protest. She's all like, we can't drink water. <laughs> and he's like, go fuck yourself, bitch. I got sweatshirts to wear. I ain't got time for this shit. You know, to be fair, guy pulls off the sweatshirt look like I've never seen before. Better than fucking uh, Sally, Jesse, Kalinsky over here. Man, that felt good. We haven't we haven't made fun of Kyle in a while. So that's a good. So that was a good one. Well, Jeremiah, what else we got next?